Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's try to understand how to load image plane in ZBrush that will generally serve as a reference for modeling. So I'll be, you know, uh, scrolling this tool or just col uh, collapse this tool menu and then bring the draw menu into this area. And uh, if you could see, we have a lot of options, but I'll just scroll down to something called front uh, and back. And then you have up and down and then left and right. So if I'm generally into the front and back option here, and uh, you could able to see that we have the grids uh, which we can load onto them you know i mean you should able to see there are um, three uh, grid planes which you can enable from here so these grid planes are generally uh, uh, the cards where you are going to load your image okay so let me just click on the maps and then uh, pick any uh, image from this particular uh, set of images so you have uh, like a world map here or maybe you can pick something like this so we have uh, some images uh, which can be loaded but what if, if uh, you want to load any custom image which uh, is generally used for modeling so let me go to the import option and then choose uh, the, the file so I'm going to browse that image plane and you should be able to see I've loaded that here okay so I'm in right now um, in the front view I can switch between the perspective to orthographic view so I'm, I'm just switching between the perspective and orthographic view as required when this option is off I'm in orthographic view and um, I can now uh, pick my model and then start uh, you know um, matching the reference there so it will be a great help when we are re uh, tracing out a model so it, it generally serves to place the perfect proportions there so we have a map to option which is basically like say if I go on to the opposite side and then when I'm doing uh, I need a different image maybe uh, if you're modeling a car or something you have front view of the car loaded here and then when I go here I want the back view so I can just choose the map too I don't have any specific uh, you know back image but I'm going to pick the side temporarily just for you to understand that if I am here I'm loading the front view when I'm rotating I should not get the same front view but the back part of the photograph maybe the hair part the uh, back view of the lady so I can directly you know rotate and then start switching here uh, we have uh, uh, several options for this particular image plane like we have one so when the one button press ZBrush will allow only uh, one reference image to be shown at a time so if you could see when I'm rotating here I am able to see the front view only generally you should uh, see the back and the front two separate images but when you put this one you see the same image on both sides okay and uh, we have this p line and then what is that actually is so let me switch off that and when i click and drag uh, you should be able to see uh, that blue color line you should be able to see so when i'm um, you know click and dragging it on which part of the image plane this part is equal to is what this project line is going to show a blue color dotted line so when you are in front view you may not able to see uh, let me switch off the uh, orthographic and then come to the perspective view and you should able to see that projection line so uh, which part of your surface is equal to that so that is what it is trying to show so i don't know uh, you can try using this but that completely depends on how you are going to use this feature as i told um, <clears throat> the perspective to orthographic is completely showing a different alignment between a background image and the foreground model so if i am sculpting here so uh, let's say this is where my eye should start and uh, this is where the eye should end same way so it's i'm just uh, trying to you know uh, keep the cursor so that the blue line is touching the end of the eye and then when i'm moving it again it's touching the end of the day, eye so that, that's something like that so we have an option called switch maps so anytime you can just click and then change that two images uh, in your image plane so you have two options right so you can switch any one of these two uh, we also have adjust button so we can click that this brings up a, a separate uh, window uh, I don't know it's not uh, floating and uh, we have options like uh, crop uh, all that and when I click the adjust button we can increase the contrast and uh, we can also uh, change the gamma value you can try increasing um, the brightness and then you should able to see um, when I'm doing the crop uh, left option and you should see that I'm able to crop that 
and uh, when I'm doing the top, I can see that. Uh, when I hit clear button, it generally resets uh, the values what you have uh, applied to your model. Uh, every channel has separate uh, contrast values like red, green, and blue separately or all together at the same time. You got brightness and you got red brightness, you got green brightness and the blue brightness. Gamma also same thing. Once you have done your uh, settings here, you can just apply OK and then that corrections will be seen on the model. Uh, so we have a flip option where you are able to flip uh, the image. Okay, Let me just go with the background image and you should be able to see. I can able to flip sorry flip here so hey, you could see that flip so i was like uh, you know uh, picking up the switch button it is switching and i'm flipping the wrong face so that's the reason i it has generally played with me for some time so uh, so like let's say i want to flip this guy i have to select that image and then do the flip like i was when i'm saying flip so it was going back and I'm trying flip but it's not showing because it was doing here. Then we have a rotate option which can rotate your image plane. It's not the rotating the model. I could see that clearly. It's only rotating the image plane. And we have inverse option. It will inverse the image in terms of uh, the color values are concerned. Uh, we have the scale option. We can try playing with the scale option. We can move the image plane left or right, up or down. And then you have a specific angle uh, to control uh, you have this uh, e enhance factor okay you can uh, use this uh, factor value as uh, this is working like you know uh, edge fall off so center area is transparent and the edge area is opaque so in other conventional 3d softwares when we have to model with image plane we go with uh, the x-ray mode or um, the wireframe mode but here we have uh, this sort of transparency and then we have this uh, enhanced opacity feature. So it's like uh, reducing the opacity of the image plane and making this uh, opaque completely. And uh, we also have uh, this uh, elevation. Uh, right now it is uh, minus one. So if I put it to zero, it's in the center. So I can slide it and then sort of move it back and forth uh, like that. And uh, we also have uh, the fill modes. There are like uh, zero, one, two, three, four. So when the fill mode is zero, you have no image plane. Then you got fill mode one, fill mode two, fill mode three. So it's like, uh, as you saw, I'm playing with the, uh, sorry, this one, okay. This enhanced opacity, if I have to put three different important levels, zero and this level and this level and this level, I can switch here from zero, one, two and three. So that's what this will do. So grid size is there and then you have tiles which are basically used to repeat. Uh, we have this uh, uh, snapshot to grid option. So when I just click that, uh, the model which we have uh, kept here, that model has been snapshotted on the uh, image plane. So our image is gone there. Okay. So I need to go back and then uh, load our image which brings up our image and uh, I can load them back again. So again, I need to play with the size to properly fit that to our reference. Okay, so uh, as I'm talking about this uh, image planes here, uh, we have uh, up and down, uh, left and right also, where you can load image planes for other, uh, other views also. Okay, so just check that and uh, explore uh, the image planes. Uh, this is widely used in modeling it works like uh, as a reference and then you start tweaking them or matching them with uh, the background that is what happens here okay 